difference? First of all, we thought the horse was going to be huge. And we thought, what is going on here? We're bringing a full size horse into the school. What are we going to do? Are the children going to get on the horse? How would any type of equine therapy work and how would it be of benefit to the children? Uh, but Nikki was very reassuring. I mean, we've known Nikki for years as our education psychologist. We trust her, we know her wealth of knowledge in supporting children with special needs. And she just said, look, equine therapy and equine assisted learning will help all of the children in school and help them follow adult-led agenda, help their self-esteem, you know, boost all of the things that we were looking for in school that we just, we, we couldn't support in the traditional um, special needs strategies that we had already. The feedback, you can see that the attendance has risen dramatically. The children are transitioning into school much easier. The pupils are able to tell us, Libby and Teddy, make us feel calm, make us feel settled. Um, you can see in the children's work, I mean, they are ready and settled to learn. So they're coming back from their sessions into the classroom. They may have huge dysregulation leaving the room. Whenever they come back in, they're a different child. They're settled and ready to learn. And their self-esteem has increased dramatically. They're so confident. They're actively using the strategies that Nikki and Libby and Teddy are teaching them and they're bringing that throughout, not just their literacy, numeracy and all their core work in school, but in how they're interacting with peers, how they're um, then transferring that to home and parents are telling us that they've noticed a huge, huge difference. Because Anna's autistic and um, it has been quite beneficial for her um, in terms of Anna's emotions can get quite high um, due to maybe signs and things in the class. So when she comes out to levy the horse, it kind of regulates those emotions um, and has a calming effect okay. um, on her. And she enjoys being around Libby. You know, when you mention the name Libby, you know, she jokingly smiles, you know, <laughs> so she, you know, she's, you know, she knows her very well. Um, and I, I do see a benefit of it. The way that we work with Libby is, I suppose, maybe slightly less direct than you would do with other intervention methods. Mm -hmm. So I can work on the children's emotions, but we can do it in such a way we're like, oh, I've noticed Libby's quite fidgety. Right now, what can we do to help Libby calm down? Maybe we need to calm our bodies down. And so it's less direct than some of the other work I've done before where you're sat across the table like, yeah. let's talk about your emotions, you know? Yeah. And that can be too much for some of the children. So you're out, you're moving, you're in the air. And there's also that sense of the focus is on the pony as much as on the children, which means that they can feel more confident and engaging as well. We've done our uh, Boxall profiles and we've looked at the scores kind of when we started in January and again in June and all the children's scores moved and, and developed and improved. And so that was with those kind of short once a week sessions. So it for me, we're definitely getting good results. But like I say, I think we would like to do more and, and we could get even more results. <laughs> Um, we did have the opportunity to speak to a number of inspectors from the ETI and equine assisted learning was one of the areas that they were very keen to learn about because they could see the impact it was having on our children. Um, it has transformed. I mean, if, if I talk about the little girl who hasn't spoken, I mean, she is speaking to Libby, to Teddy and to Nikki. We have tried everything. Nursery have tried everything. She's now primary three and three years of doing as many training courses as we could, putting an intervention, speaking to education psychologists had no impact. Libby has been working with this little girl for a number of months and she is now speaking. We have children who have experienced huge trauma in their lives who are coming into school and they are settled, they're regulated, they've been able to keep their placement with carers because of the strategies that Libby has been helping them with. Children who have severe special needs who traditionally we would have asked for extra support for with extra resources from classroom assistance. We don't need to do that anymore. We are able to tailor equine therapy to meet their needs and the impact has been, has been absolutely huge. And I think every school should have it. It's a full holistic program, but it wraps around the child. And I mean, the impact, there's data there to prove it. It's not just me saying this, the data is there. Um, the, the trust, through social workers have seen an impact on the children that they look after. Um, we have had consultants who have been absolutely thrilled with the progress that children have made as a result of working with Libby. We have some children who previously have had medication and that medication has been reduced since 
Nikki has been working with them. So they're much more settled, much more calm. And I mean, it speaks for itself.